Wow. Check out these guns. No, I mean, really. Check out these guns. Welcome to Willow's World of DIY. I'm Willow, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to custom powder coat these Demolition Ranch tumblers. Let's get to it. I start off by cleaning the tumblers with some 99% alcohol, and then I heat them up with a torch to anneal them. And I just try to keep this uh, red hot spot moving around the tumblers, and uh, the pattern turns out the way it turns out. Um, sometimes it comes out in stripes, sometimes it, you know, turns out blue, sometimes it turns out a reddish. Now we can start placing our decals. On Mayor's Cup I put the mountains in the uh, annealed section just so they might look like, uh, like a sunset or something on the mountains. And then on mats I, I tried to place all the rifle barrels downward so that the uh, barrels are in the blue uh, annealed section of the tumblers. I did it like this so all the gun barrels will look blued like they've been heated up from shooting. Now we can make a stand for it. I coil up a piece of copper wire for grounding and then I insert two empty coke cans and then I use high temperature masking tape to mask off all the open area. And then I trim off the excess masking tape with an X-Acto knife. And then wipe them down with some 99% alcohol to remove any oils from handling them. I hit them real quickly with a torch just to burn off any fuzzies. Now we can start shooting some powder. The powder is electrostatically charged as it passes through the gun and as long as your piece is grounded properly, the powder will wrap around it and adhere to it kind of like a magnet. The positive ions are attracted to the negative ions. And then we place them in the oven preheated to 400 degrees for 30 minutes. I pulled this one out at uh, 25 minutes. It's only been baking for five minutes. Um, just to try and get the decals off easier. Um, they're pretty much hard to get off no matter what method you use, but uh, it is a little bit easier to get off if you do it like this and then, and then put it back in the oven to fully cure. And then I put it back in the oven for 25 minutes to fully cure. While that's baking, we can go ahead and clean out our powder coating gun. You want to make sure that you blow it out really well so that you don't get any cross-contamination between powders. After you have that cleaned out, then I just use a vacuum and I vacuum up all the powder in my booth. That way you don't get any dusting off the booth um, that will also contaminate your powders. I spray Goo Gone on a Q-tip and use that to remove any leftover adhesive from the decals. And then I wipe them down with some 99% alcohol to remove any oils from handling them. and I quickly hit it with the torch to burn off any fuzzies. Now we can shoot our clear coat. It shoots the same as, as the regular you know, colored coat. Um, sometimes you can have issues with it uh, adhering to the cup and sometimes you can have issues with it starring real bad. Um, if it does that, I just usually blow it all off and then heat it up back in the oven and then I end up shooting it hot.
Now we can place our clear coated cups back in the oven preheated to 400 degrees for 30 minutes. Once the time's up, I pull them out of the oven and start removing all the masking tape. It's a lot easier to move, remove this masking tape when it's hot. And the last step is to blend the top edge of the cup by sanding it. I use uh, 400 grit and then I step up to 600 grit. The powder I used is uh, Laser Moss for Matt's cup and Pearl White number no. 2 for Mayer's. And I put a clear coat over both of them. All the powders I used are from Prismatic Powders. I hope you all enjoyed powder coating these Demolition Ranch tumblers with me. If you found the video helpful or you liked it, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching Willow's World of DIY. Until next time.